Charcuterie boards, as you just saw, they're all the rage. Mm -hmm. And you've seen them everywhere. They're so fancy. So this weekend, why not sweeten things up with a spread for Valentine's Day? Yeah, both fun to eat and create. Charcuterie boards impress kids and adults alike. Today, we took a trip to Way Cool Cooking School for some foodie inspiration. Who doesn't love a box of chocolates for Valentine's Day, right? But we want to take it to the next level and add more than just chocolates, but like all things sweet. So our sweet connoisseur, Mary Matthews from Way Cool Cooking School. We know it, we love it. You love candy, you love chocolate, and that's why we love you on Good Day. Yep. We are making what, a Valentine's Day? Charcuterie treat box. So Bam. charcuterie boxes are not just for meats and cheeses anymore. <laughs> this is a, a trend that's sweeping the internet. Um, you can you can find inspiration all over um, Instagram and Google, but really it's a fun, unique way to present Valentine's Day treats um, for your family and friends using some homemade stuff and then some of your favorite Valentine's Day candies. Okay, so you have an assortment of things to choose from here. I have all of my all of the favorite things. Like you said, we love candy here. I'm a big uh, gummy fan, so mm -hmm. I've got my favorite gummy here. We've got our X's and O's hearts. Our chocolate-filled fancy Godiva. Oh, okay. Um, our wonderful Girardelli's fancy, fancy chocolates here too. Some classics: the Hershey Kisses. Can't go wrong with Hershey's Kisses. Mm -hmm. um, what, is, what is this? This is like a Willy this, Wonka something. What is this? This is a Willy Wonka thing. This is my nephew's favorite candy, and I was introduced to it. Um, it they're nerd clusters. Okay. So they're nerds that are wrapped around little gummy pieces. Interesting. Okay. Um, and so you can bring out your friend's favorites or your family's favorites, and then we're gonna add a little bit of homemade. So I'm okay. gonna teach you how to make my homemade Rice Krispie treats Okay, here. very festive, I like it. Um, so we've just got our white almond bark, our melting chocolate, and you can use colored candy chips or white or chocolate or whatever you'd like. Mm -hmm. And then I've just got some Oreos and some Rice Krispie bars here ready to go. So all you have to do is you just take your favorite one and dunk it like you're dunking an Oreo and milk. Mm -hmm. Give it a little twirl and get off the excess. You don't want too much chocolate because then the sprinkles don't stick as well. Mm, okay. And then we're just gonna take and I'm gonna dunk them in both sides. Both sides. Oh yeah, for sure, both okay. sides. <laughs> and some Valentine's Day sprinkles. And then this takes about five minutes to harden. And then once they're hardened, it's like a candy bar. Oh, sure. And you can just crunch right through with all your sprinkles. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. All right, so you can give it a go with the Rice Krispie or the Oreo, there we go. Okay, and, and again, tap the excess. We right. love activities that get all hands on deck. So this is a really fun thing for your family to create together, mm -hmm. um, for teachers for Valentine's oh, Day. Sure. Um, and I also like the fact that you can use both pre-made and wrapped candy and then your own stuff. Amazing. Should I do a Rice Krispie since we're here? Do right? a Rice Krispie, yeah. Okay, so you just made normal Rice Krispie. Yeah, These are just, just normal just Rice Krispie bars um, that are cut into little squares. You could drizzle chocolate on top of them too. Um, these are also a really, really nice way that you could make this like an adult version um, with maybe some fancier candy and then okay. like a kid version. So I've got like sweet tart hearts here and things like that that you could put on top of these also. Bam. And then you just load them up into your little heart-shaped box. Mm -hmm. These boxes are available at um, dollar stores, different retailers right now. Um, you can also take a lot of these candies come in heart-shaped boxes oh. that you can repurpose for your and then wrap them up and give them to your family and, and who friends. wouldn't love that that's so fun yeah a little homemade a little bit of your fa favorite valentine's day favorites mary matthews thank you as always happy valentine's day happy valentine's day kelly so we shot this a couple weeks ago and i left the school and i went to walgreens and i picked up that little box straight there yep thankfully my kids are not they're, they're not watching but that's what they're getting for, for have valentine's you bought the day. fillings i have yet? bought the fillings uh, i don't know if i'm going to do the oreo thing i I mean, it's not hard, but that would just require me going to get just white chocolate. Little, like, I don't one have more any white step. <laughs> yes. They'll love it. Yes. Whether there are dipped Oreos. Exactly. Or not. I mean,